This morning, we have a very important health story. It's about breast cancer and a new test that is helping survivors. Here to explain is Dr. Ann Stroh, a medical oncologist, and Dr. Katherine Schnabel, Senior Vice President of Research and Development at Biotheronostics. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Olga. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks Dr. For Schnabel, me. let me start with you. Tell me about the test your company has developed and why this is so important today. BCI is a novel test for breast cancer patients. Mm -hmm and it provides a molecular profile of an individual patient's tumor to enable a better understanding of how to continue to care for these patients beyond five years. There are two important pieces of information that BCI provides. One is the likelihood that a patient might relapse af after year five, and the other and more importantly is whether or not she will benefit from actually extended endocrine therapy or continuing endocrine therapy. And this is very important because as you know for these patients, the ongoing management of their best breast cancer is very significant for them. Let me bring you in now, Dr. Stroh. Mm -hmm. I've heard that a lot of estrogen therapies can be really hard on a woman. Is this true or is this false? Yeah, no, it's, it is true. Mm -hmm. And so to clarify on estrogen therapies, what we're really trying to do is to create a low estrogen state in the body. And so when we talk about endocrine therapies, they're really anti-estrogens. And about 80 to 85% of breast cancers are going to be ER positive or estrogen receptor positive. So it's very important. These are very integral treatments to help cure women of breast cancer. And so yes, they can be hard. Patients can have a lot of side effects, menopausal symptoms, weight gain, mm -hmm. hot flashes, risk of osteoporosis, vaginal dryness, and it can be very uncomfortable. And this is a tool that helps patients make educated decisions about their tumors so they can maybe alleviate the symptoms and stop the medications appropriately when needed. And Olga, if I might add, you know, for this particular type of breast cancer, which are hormone receptor positive breast cancers, mm -hmm. three-fourths of the deaths actually happen post year five. There's an ongoing risk for this particular type of breast cancer. And so having, having uh, tests that actually can provide answers at that late stage of the disease are very important for these patients. Correct, because I can never tell a woman with estrogen receptor positive breast cancer that they're 100% cured. Exactly. Now let's talk more about this test, Dr. Schnabel. How does it work? Is it complicated? No, it's not complicated at all. In fact, um, an additional biopsy is not going to be needed by the patient. Um, it utilizes the, the original biospecimen from when the patient was diagnosed. And essentially, all she has to do is talk with her physician about ordering the test. Mm -hmm. And it gets sent to our uh, centralized lab in San Diego. And uh, that's where the gene expression profile is, is, is done and performed. And the test results are generated there. I have a couple of family members who have gone over that five-year mark and yet from some I hear oh I'm I'm good from others I hear I'm not sure so how long does this anti-estrogen therapy maybe help extend it if you will? There was recent data that shows improved survival in patients if you continue on anti-estrogen therapies from five now lengthening it to ten years okay and so it's really it can be checked at any time because we have the specimen from the initial time of diagnosis um, and it can be helpful in patient and physician relationships to discuss when is this utilized, how can I use it um, down the road. Dr. Schnabel, would you like to add anything? Sure, I mean, I think, I think you know, having molecular level data to, to integrate into a physician's, you know, uh, working management plan for the patients is, is really a significant breakthrough in breast cancer. Breast cancer index seems like another great example of medicine uh, becoming maybe more personalized, which I think is important because I think we're opening up communication. Women are learning more. I mean, we've gone miles in terms of advance mm -hmm. because of that open communication and open dialogue. That's correct, and a lot of patients will say, well, why did so-and-so down the street have this therapy, and why did my sister have this therapy? And so this actually personalizes it to their tumor, and it's very helpful for a patient to make an educated decision about their actual disease. But always consult with your doctor, correct, Dr. Yes, Schnabel? Yes, absolutely. I think this risk balance, dis balance discussion is really important for the physician to have with their patients, and breast cancer index can be an integral part of the ongoing management of this patient. I always correct. like to end on a high note, doctor. We've come a long way. There's a lot of hope out there, isn't there? There is. A lot of women are being cured of this disease. Amen. Dr. Schnabel? I think, you know, with the continued innovation that is being infused into the field, I think it can only get more promising um, for cancer patients in general. And in terms of educating ourselves, is there a website that we could go to to learn more? Yes, you can, you can go on our website, the Biotheronostics website, Answers Beyond 5, to find out more information about the test and how to, how to order the test. Answers Beyond 5, that's great. Thank you so Thank much you for everything for you do. Us. Thank Doctor, you for having us. God bless you. And if you want to learn more, log on to our website, thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.